It starts with a trade deficit, and ours is massive. They make their goods cheap, sometimes artificially cheap, and Americans line up to buy the imports. Foreign nations start to accumulate a lot of money, and American workers are laid off, exacerbating the unemployment problem. With all the money foreign corporations have accumulated, they can start buying out American firms. This not only makes them privy to our superior technology, it also allows them to ship more jobs overseas. More Americans are unemployed, and now they can make more goods on the cheap to sell here, to get more of our money, to buy more of our firms, to ship more jobs overseas, to make more cheap products, to sell here and get more of our money, to buy more of our firms. It's a cycle that never ends. A downward spiral. When our firms leave, our tax base erodes. When our workers are unemployed, our tax base erodes. With less revenue coming into the government, we have to borrow to meet our needs. We borrow from the very countries that are economically devastating us, and then we have to pay them interest on what we borrow. Meanwhile, our bridges are crumbling, our highways are cracked, and our people are going bankrupt paying for health care. The truth is that if we wanted to destroy the United States, we could hardly have invented a better way to do it. It is in our power to turn things around, and we can start by changing the way we trade with the rest of the world.